just entering the C&D Canal, and uh, this is the first bridge we'll have to go under. Give you a little bit of a look of what it looks like. And on these poles that you may see, there's lights, and then further up they'll be on land. And so the whole way is lit at night. I'm going to take a few pictures as we work our way through to kind of give you an idea, a little more idea of, of what it is to be going through the C&D Canal. There's a few powerboat wakes that you can see washing up on the shoreline. came up just a minute ago and I think she was a bit nervous when no one was behind the wheel. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> but we're on the autopilot and I can kind of stay away from the wheel as long as I'm watching. Take pictures. Yeah, exactly. This is the first bridge and we're at Schaefer's Canal House. We'll take another little picture up ahead. And the other side of the canal is more of Chesapeake City, and I'll show that in a minute. This place had been closed for a while. It's nice to see it's open and operating. It, it's and seasoned busy. and busy. Under new ownership? I'm not sure. I would think so. Yeah, but, it, but it is a summer weekend. So I'm glad to see it's busy. I have to look in the guidebooks. It's been here a long time. So this is the south side of, of the canal, and again, it's Chesapeake City. Nice little marina in here. Our boat crossed a little bit close to us. Yeah. We're still heading east towards the Delaware Bay, and we're maybe a mile or two past Chesapeake City, approaching the second bridge. Give you a little idea that not much along this shoreline here, where earlier on we had all the, the houses and businesses. I've zoomed out in the chart plotter and maybe you can see a little bit of the whole canal that we're going through and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. We have AIS working and it's telling me that there's traffic ahead of us and the alarm will pop off and acknowledge it and I can just see in the, in the distance this uh, tug and barge coming and I'll show you that in just a minute. a little reflection back but there's a whoops. So, oh, there must be a bike path over there. Well we're we're at the next bridge and you can see they're doing work on it. it Bounced around with a little bit of a boat weight. continue east, uh, we're seeing the next area we're going to cross under a pipeline. And I don't know if it's gas or what it is. And then the next bridge ahead of us is a railroad bridge, and it's in the up position. Another picture, obviously, of the pipeline. We just moved a little closer to it. And, uh, I'm going to walk forward on the boat and see if I can do it fairly steadily. The boat came up from 
from Florida and actually from up from Georgia. And so they stowed the dinghy. And this is a hard bottom dinghy. A lot of them are fiberglass. This one has an aluminum bottom on it. We're on a 47 foot passport. And I'm going to pan back all the way around past the cockpit and walk towards the stern. Of all the gear that cruisers carry, including extra fuel. And this is probably the newest bridge that goes across the canal, and the bridge it replaces is in the distance. The new bridge is four lanes, the old bridge is two lanes. We're about three quarters of the way through the canal now, and just kind of reading some of the history. And it's 12 miles long, 400 feet wide, and controlling depth of 35 feet. And it was constructed in the, I think the uh, construction was finished in the 1820s. So you'll be looking back at the sun in a minute. So. And now you can see the other side of those two bridges. Fortunately, we've only had one tug, so there's not been very much commercial traffic so far. This is the last bridge when you're heading eastbound that will go under. It's the Reedy Point Bridge, and we're looking out into the Delaware from here. We're looking all the way across the Delaware River, and south of here it becomes Delaware Bay, and not too far south. And I don't know if you can see these poles in the water, but these poles are all lit, so it makes it fairly easy to go through at night. This is again is the last bridge on the east side of the canal, and we're getting very close to the entrance, and I'll pan around for that so you can see, not much to see here, but you can see the entrance to the canal. So we'll work our way out a little bit into the river and we'll turn south towards Cape May. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Well, here we are, we're in the uh, Delaware Bay. You see the motor cargo vessel tanker Blue Rose going by us. We could tell from our AIS that it's 900 feet long and 90 feet at the beam and draws 38.2 feet, fully loaded. So this is an example. Notice it is a tanker, so they're big on. On. Let's see if I can focus on. You see, it says safety first. No smoking. <laughs> no pollution. So I'll just give you an example of some of the things we share the sea with out here. 